All right, today in writing, we're gonna talk about making writing more interesting by using vivid verbs. Vivid verbs just make things easier to see in your head from the words that were written, okay? It's taking a boring verb and making it a little more interesting, all right? Here's an example I'm gonna have you guys think about. If I wrote this sentence, the fish jumped from the water. Who's ever seen a fish jump from the water? Okay, all right. If you've seen a fish jump from the water, you look. Jumped. There we go. The fish jumped from the water. Picture in your head what's happening when a fish jumps from the water. It could even be like a whale or something, or a dolphin or something else. But imagine what's happening when it jumps from the water. It doesn't have to be a fish. You can think of other things jumping from the water. Well, first of all, what's my verb in this sentence? What is my verb? Verb. Jumped. There you go. That's the thing that's happening is it's jumping. To me, though, that's kind of boring. The fish jumped from the water. I want to think of a different verb that's going to make people see what I saw in my head. Does anybody have a different word that you're like, well, this would be different, and it might be a little better? What do you think? Got any? Leaped. Leaped. Or leaped. Leaped. Leaped from the water. Who likes that better than jumped? OK, we're heading in the right direction, aren't we? OK? What's something else that we could use? The fish. What do you think? Exploded. Ooh. Can we say that? Yeah. Is the fish being thrown into bits all over the place? No. No, but what is being thrown into bits all over the place? The fish. Well, not the fish. The water. The water. Who agrees? Oh, yeah, when a fish jumps out, it's like the water kind of goes. Oh, no. It's like an explosion. So when we say the fish exploded from the water, it's happening quick. There's water going all over the place, right? That's pretty vivid, isn't it? OK. Do you normally think of the word exploded as being the same as this? Not really. But to be more vivid, we can do that. What, did you come up with one? The fish jolted. Okay, jolted. That's much more interesting than jumped, right? Jolting is quick, right? Uh, what do you think, Joey? Died. It what? Died. Died? died That's not the, the same as jumping. The fish the died fish from died the water? The water. <laughs> That's not going to work. No, died. no, she said died. Like... That's not the same. Yes. Dashed. Dashed. Okay. The fish dashed from the water. That could probably work. What else? The fish rocketed. Ooh. The fish rocketed. That doesn't make sense. Why not? You know what a rocket is? Yeah, but you had it easy. I did, and I turned it into a verb magically. We took a noun, rocket, and by adding ed, it magically became a verb. Rocketed from the water. What do you got? Bolted. Bolted. Okay, so we got jolted slash bolted. They're kind of similar words, right? They're bolting. Yep. 
flew. There you go. That's better than just jumped, because it makes me see it's high, right? It's like, whoa, it flew from the water. You got another one? Um, sometimes when fish go up, they kind of like swish their tails. So okay, what can we do? The fish, what's this word though? Flipped from the water. There you go. What'd you say? Yeah. Without raising your hand? Yeah. No, I'm gonna give you your own look. Mm. <laughs> um, what do we say for yours? Um, flipped. Flipped. Like you're gonna flip, flip your mask under your nose? <laughs> Maybe. Flipped. I don't know how look. Danced. You got one? Flopped. Okay, the fish flopped from the water. Although flopping to me, I usually think of just kind of this. Like our cat will walk around and just kind of go, and just lays down all of a sudden. It's like really fast. And you're like, whoa, he's flopped. Okay, yes. Launched. Oh, launched. It kind of goes with the idea of rocketed, right? Launched. Okay, when we started doing this, did you guys imagine? That your brains would do all that for just the word jumped? No, no. no. Yes. No. Okay. Look at all the things we were able to come up with for this because I think we kind of did some, what does it look like? And we had to kind of get going, but once we got going, do, 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 do. we came up with all kinds of ideas. Now, real life writers who write actual books, when they write their books, they don't sit down and go, I'm going to write a book. Right, 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 the end. Perfect. That's one thing. They do this on like every sentence that they write. Because real writers want their book to be vivid. So they might start with the fish jump from the water, but then they're going to look at it and go, Jumped from the water. It's more than just jumping. There's more going on there. And they might make a list just like this. They're brainstorming. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? To pick the word that they think matches up just right with what they want the reader to see in their brain. Okay? So they kind of do that. It takes a while to, to do good writing. All right. Yes. Um, so my cousin, no, actually Jackson's cousin. Um, he writes books, and it takes him like a week to write two pages. Yes, it takes a while to really write a book because you, the authors, think about every little thing. Okay. Wow. Yes. You're correct, because the original one was jumped with an ED. So, and this is past tense. It just it's an irregular verb, so it doesn't use ED. Okay, here's what I want to do. Everybody think, and don't worry about who said the word. Think about I'm the author. I want to pick the word that I think most represents what the fish would do. Okay? So pick one word. Everybody have it in your head. Which word do you like best? Okay? This isn't a, oh, I hope mine gets picked kind of thing. We're just kind of trying to figure out together which one maybe is a really good word. Okay? Who liked leaped? Okay. Who liked exploded? Okay. Who liked Jolted. Who like bolted? No, you can only get one vote, so make sure you're only voting once. Did you already vote once? Which one did you vote for? Bolted. Bolted? Okay, just vote, vote once. Dash. Okay. Rocketed. Launched. Now, I like, by the way, I liked how that happened because rocketed 
An author might have rocketed. Yeah, I just don't like that word. But a rocket gets launched. Oh, launch. Did you kind of do that? Did you think about rocketed and go rockets are launched? And, yeah, that's kind of what authors do. They think through all kinds of different words. Okay? Uh, who like flew? Who liked flipped? Who liked danced? All right. One, two, five, six, seven. Okay, everybody voted once. So if we were doing this as an author, we would have basically said, ah, I don't really like that one, I don't really like that one, I don't really like that one, and these aren't that great either. <laughs> and we'd narrow it down, okay? Everybody gets one more vote again. You ready? Who liked exploded? Wait a minute, did Bolton have any votes? I think it did. No, yeah. I think it did. I think it had two. I think it two. Okay. Who's now pick from these words? Flew, launched, bolted, jolted, exploded. Ready? Who likes exploded best? Okay. Who liked jolted best? Who liked bolted best? Who liked launched best? Who liked flew best? Okay. No. Out of flu and exploded, who liked exploded best? Oh. Same six. Who liked flu best? Why? All right. So then the author, by process of elimination, would have picked flu and fish flu from the water. Okay? And that might be exactly what the author wanted it to be for that particular sentence. Okay? Wow. So... What you're going to do today for an assignment is not extremely difficult, but you're going to do this kind of thinking, okay? For Declan, you need the sheet that looks like that. It's got a little happy birthday girl on it, okay? She must be celebrating my birthday. What? All right. The directions say this. Circle the verbs in the given sentences. Did you notice it said circle the verbs? What does that mean? Circle the verbs. What does that mean? Okay, there's more than one verb in the sentences. Okay. Then it says, rewrite the sentence using more descriptive verbs. And they do an example. The first sentence says this. My brother entered the bus and looked out the window. So he entered and looked. And they decided it would sound better if it was, my brother darted into the bus. Notice they kind of added two words to change enter, darted into. You can do that. And stared out the window instead of looking out the window. Because looking is just kind of like... Staring is. Right? There's a difference between the two words. And they wanted us to know he's like staring. Okay? So there are, I guess, seven other sentences that you're going to do that with. Okay? That you're going to think of a better verb for the sentence and then go ahead and. Rewrite the sentence with your better verb. Alright? Be creative like you were for the word jumped. You did a good job. Remember, you have to circle the verbs first. Then. If you need help, like reading a word, let me know. Oh, uh, the video still goes. Oh, that's right, that video. Sorry. I thought you meant the masters. Yeah. All right.